So I just finished version one of uh, my new computer. Put together a, a, you know, a totally, not totally new, but I put together quite a new machine and I did so in the Fractal Define R4 case. So in this video, I'm gonna go through the parts that I uh, chose for my PC, uh, tell you how I put it together, and then just talk about why I chose the parts that I chose for my PC. First off, the motherboard, I decided to go with the P9X79-E. Uh, WS. This motherboard probably has more features than I need, but I love the fact that it has two Intel NICs. It's got about a gazillion PCI Express lanes, and that's one of the benefits of um, X79. Also, we have eight RAM slots, and I've got four of those uh, populated, so there's four left, and I've got 32 gigabytes of memory. So, I, I mean, this motherboard is probably overkill for what I'm doing, but I like the fact that in the future, if I wanted to add, you know, two more graphics cards, or if I wanted to add, like, one more graphics card, and uh, a really fancy sound card or something like that, or even uh, even a RAID card, I could do it with this motherboard. So that's really why I got it for future expansion. It's going to have me covered. Now, two or three days ago, I guess by the time you watch this, it'll be like three days ago, I upgraded uh, from my beloved 3820 that Pistols 8350 was beating in most benchmarks. So I decided to upgrade to the i7-4930K. It's a six core CPU that is expensive. It's expensive because um, for productivity stuff, it just really blows everything out of the water. I will say with H.264 encoding, um, that's the only thing I've tested right now with this one and the uh, Pistols 8350, it's not that much faster. It's like almost twice as fast as my 3820, but hell, that little 8-core gives this thing a run for its money. Uh, in other productivity applications, though, there's nothing that really competes uh, with this one, so that's why I went for it. Um, the other thing that kind of, I guess this is kind of a gripe, but for gaming, I mean, it stock versus stock, the 3820 versus this one, I gain like two or three FPS in most games. So I was like kind of bummed about that. I wanted like 10, 12 extra frames per second, but I guess I'll just have to add, uh, you know, a second graphics card. Speaking of graphics card, let's talk about what graphics card I've got. All right, so I've got one of these currently. It's the ASUS GTX 780. Um, it's the Direct CU 2 edition, and it's really quiet. Just really freaking quiet and really fast. I've not overclocked this one yet. Uh, I may get a 780 Ti and put it in there. I'm not sure yet, but uh, I really want like five extra frames per second because at 2560 by 1440 with all the mods that I have, Skyrim is running at like 38 frames per second, but it drops down to 29 like here and there. And that makes me angry. GTX 780 is, is stupid fast, and it's also coming down in price, so that's also a good thing. All right, let's talk about storage. I've got a lot of kind of weird storage stuff going on here. I have one um, Kingston HyperX 3K 240 uh, gigabyte SSD, and that's just my main C drive. That's where Windows is installed, and some programs are also installed there. I'm not running RAID or anything just yet. I just have one of those drives. And then the rest of the drives I've harvested from old machines. I've got one four terabyte uh, Seagate drive. That's a 7200 RPM drive that I use for storage. And I've got that one cut in half into two partitions, two two terabyte partitions. It's like, I think they're 1.8 and 1. Point something, I don't know, whatever, but you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're cut in half that way and that actually makes them a little bit faster. And then I've also got them separated based upon what I do once for videos, once for games, you know. Uh, on top of that, I found a one terabyte Hitachi. It's a 7K1000. I've had this thing forever. And I was like, I didn't remember where it came from. It just from an old build, but it was laying around. I was like, hey, my 7K1000. And I put that in there and that thing runs cool, uh, decently quiet, and it's just been running forever. So I, I like the 7K1000. It's sort of becoming my favorite old mechanical hard drive, which is kind of strange. In addition to all that, I also have a Kingston SSD now. It's 120 gigabytes. And it's not quite as fast as the HyperX 3K, not quite as high quality, but it's very similar in quality. And I'm using this for caching. You know, I just threw it in there because it was like 59 bucks one day. You know, when Black Friday's coming up pretty soon, you guys will probably see these things go on sale for like 60 bucks. If you do, buy them like crazy and I'll post it on the website. So just keep an eye out for those. Um, for the actual system memory, I've got 32 gigabytes of 2133 megahertz Kingston Beast memory. And that's of course running in quad channel and uh, the cast latency on that is 11. Let's talk about the case. You know, I stressed out a lot about the case. Um, I looked at a, a several different brands um, and I, I almost went with the Corsair. I think it's a 300R, it's a silent case. Um, but 
After everything was said and done, I just kept coming back to the Define R4 because I love how uh, silent it is. It's got good airflow. It's a very good compromise between uh, you know silence and airflow. And I've got I don't have any fans in the side or any fans in the top. If I add a second graphics card, I am going to put a fan in the side panel. I'm going to put a 140 millimeter fan in there. But right now, I've just got the fans that came with the case, and it's running decently cool. No matter what I do, play games for eight hours, whatever, edit videos for four hours, whatever. It just stays cool. And I do not hear this machine. Sometimes I come out in the morning and I'll press the power button and then I'll look over and be like, oh no, I've, I've shut off my machine because I forgot to turn it off the night before and I didn't realize that it was freaking on already and I pressed the power button and now it's going off. So you get the idea. Um, the CPU fan, I didn't cover that earlier. I've got the Noctua NHU14S. It's just solid and it gets the job done. I have not done much overclocking yet. If I do, I'll probably upgrade, upgrade to the Noctua that has uh, the dual fans, you know, the the large round fan in the center. I uh, forgot the model number, the U14S. I should look it up, but I'll put it in the description. Uh, but this one right now is doing just fine. It's got a 140 millimeter fan and uh, a nice large tower heat sink. It's quiet, well built, and I like it. The power supply, I'm using the Corsair RM850. And uh, that one's also quiet because, um, you know, b below a certain threshold, the fan doesn't even spin. So it stays nice and quiet. And it is a little bit more than what I actually need for this machine. I could still add another graphics card and uh, be just fine with the same uh, power supply. So that's the specs of the rig that I currently have. Um, I'm sure that some of you guys out there are gonna be like, hey, I've got a better system than you, what's up with that? I built the system just for what I wanna do. And the only thing I really wanna upgrade at the moment is I really wanna add either a second graphics card or a 780 Ti or, I don't know, 290X maybe, maybe. Could go there. I mean, I love OpenCL, so. I'm not sure where I'm going to go next with the computer, but I'll let you guys know. I'll make some updates. Uh, water cooling, I have no, because the reason I didn't, didn't do water cooling is because, number one, the Noctua is just so freaking quiet. Number two, overclocking is important to me, but not as important as keeping a nice, quiet system in the house. Uh, number three, the reason I didn't go water cooling is because I'm always changing components in and out, and it can be a headache to have to deal with water cooling. Some of the closed loop systems are pretty good, but like the high-end Noctuas, uh, the ones that are a step up from the one I have, I'd rather just probably use one of those because the high-end Noctuas are about as good as most, uh, you know, $100 closed-loop cooling systems out there. Maybe slightly warmer, but it's it's a trade-off, and I love uh, the quality and, uh, you know, just how quiet they are. All right, um, after this video, let me know what you guys want, to, want next. I've got, like, I've got tons of accessories. I'm like, you know, I've got, like, mics everywhere. I've got you know, gazillion different mice. I've got like my monitors behind me. I've got speaker setups, headphone setups and stuff like that. Do you get, you know, like memory card readers. Do you guys want to know um, like what accessories I'm using with my machine? You know, like different controllers, Bluetooth adapters, just what I'm using. I could make a video like that for you guys and just show you all the different things that I have and how I use them because that's really what makes up a computer. You build this core and then you've got all the accessories that you use as almost like your arms to do things. So ton of accessories. That might be a fun video. Also, we have the uh, the tour coming up very soon. Just have to sweep one more time. Every time we sweep, it's like the next day dust. So we'll sweep on the same day we make the video. Um, and then we also have just, I want to make some more gear videos just to talk about like what we do because in the real freaking world, it's not just about one product and hey, this is uh, one product and check it out. It's really cool. It's about, hey, this is a group of products that I use together to make my life better and to get a freaking job done. So do you guys want to know like what we carry around in our bags? what products we use on a daily basis and how we use them. Do you want some gear videos? Because I kind of feel like making them, but I want to make sure that you guys want them. Because if you guys don't want them, screw it, I'm going to make them anyway. You guys can't stop me. All right, subscribe. There's a button somewhere under there. I think it's over there. Go to our website and subscribe there. That's where all the cool kids hang out. If you're cool, yeah, go hang out over there. Well, I just ruined it. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of the video. I'll make some updates soon. Bye.